Hello everyone. What if I told you it's possible to boost your online visibility, but for free? Imagine having a powerful online presence without spending a dime. Let's dive into how you can make that happen. Today, we will explore how you can harness the power of a free domain to enhance your business online presence with Odoo. You can unlock new potential with minimal cost. Let's dive into the tools and tips to help you get started and make the most of your Odoo website. During this presentation, you will have this QR code. You can ask all your questions and I will answer at the end. Let's unveil the agenda that will shape all next steps and drive us forward. We will start how to register your domain, then how to access your DNS configuration once the domain is registered. We will have a look at the Google Search Console and emails, and you will learn how to integrate your domain in Google Search Console for SEO purpose and manage your email using your custom domain. And then we will look for renew your domain and cover the best practice to renew it in a timely manner to avoid service disruption. And we will end up with a little conclusion. So let's start. I want to register a brand new domain for my existing website, whether I have, whether I have a paid database or a free one. How do I proceed? To register your free domain for a year, we ask a few requirements you need to be in one app free or to have a paid subscription. You need to be sure that your website is ready to go. Keep in mind that once your website is published and your domain registered, it will be visible online and reachable by your potential customer. It's not good for your business visibility if your website is completely under construction. To have your request accepted, you need to have a clear and concise home page. We need to know what is your business about and when we land on the homepage. You also need to have a page of contact information, either for you or your so company. Name, email, address, and your phone number. By default, on your website, you have fake contact information, so adding your own data is really important. You need to have at least one page of service information and no demo data. In addition to ensuring that the website complies with all policies, we also want to check that a fair effort has been made on the website to prove the commitment for the project, as the domain offered is registered for a full year. To limit the list, we implemented a restriction. You can have a domain that will cost no more than 30 euros per year in the second year. So if the domain you want is not there, you can go to gandhi.net and check if the domain is available or not, and you also can have an idea of the price for the second year. So, once your website is ready, you can go to your website application, click on configuration, and then domain name. You will have to fill in a form with your domain name and all your information. Please be careful to register the con correct information, otherwise we won't accept your request. If you face an error message regarding your subscription during the registration, double check if your subscription is valid or not. If you are in one app free and you have an expiration message on the dashboard of your database, you will not be able to register your free domain. And you need to create a ticket on odoo.com slash help. And of course, we will help. Also, please be careful with the typo of your domain name. Once it's registered, you cannot change it. OK, when you use the website Generator Builder, you will have some content by default. You need to edit and customize it with your own information to be able to get your free domain name approved. For example, as you can see on the slide, we will not approve a website full of demo data, especially for the contact information part. OK, so now my website is ready. I just registered carefully my domain name. It has been approved. And now do I need to configure it? No. Now, the only step you have to do is to add your domain in your configuration. So you connect to your database, you go to the settings, website, configuration, and you just have to fill in with your domain name. You can go. Be careful to add your domain name and that to add the good one and to add a domain that is working. Otherwise, you won't be able to edit the website. OK. Since Odoo 16, when you add your domain there, you will need to connect to your database through this custom domain to be able to edit the website. So don't panic. Once you add added the 
website domain in the settings, you will have this pop-up showing up, and you all will automatically be redirected to the login page. Connect again, and you will be able to edit your website. And of course, if you have any problem, just contact the support. Once you receive the confirmation your domain is accepted and active, you will need also to confirm your email address. It's a very important step to keep your domain alive. If you never received your confirmation email, please check your spam folder. And if it's not there, just contact us. Confirming the email is important. Why? Because either it won't work at all or it will continue to work, but you will miss important information about your domain name. For domain containing .be for Belgium, a special authentication with the application It's Me can be required. You will have to connect to the website DNS Belgium and fill in with the co correct information required. Otherwise, your domain won't be active. So, once the domain is registered, you can access your DNS panel to handle your DNS records. You just need to connect to your Odoo.com portal, go to My Databases, the little will action and domain names. Of course, you need admin rights to access this panel. So you will have something like that with your subdomain and the naked domain. And you can access by clicking on DNS to your DNS panel. You are limited in the type of record you can add, but you can add a CNAME record, MX record, and test record. And actually, you don't need anything else to use properly your domain. When you arrive to your DNS panel, the naked domain, as I mentioned, and the subdomain are here by default. If it's not and you register a free domain, you can contact the support to ask for help. Please keep in mind that every modification is susceptible to breaking your domain name. Therefore, you won't be able to access the website and you won't be able to modify it and your client will end up on a website that is not working. If you have any doubt, once again, please contact the support team and do not do any modification without knowing uh, a little thing good to know, when you configure or modify your CNAME for your subdomain, please note that the dot at the end of the name is mandatory, as we do use the bind syntax. Okay, so now, after covering your registration of your free domain, we will discover how to use the Google Search Console. It's a really good tool for ensuring the visibility and health of your domain in Google Search. So. First question, what is Google Search Console? Google Search Console is a free tool provided by Google that helps you monitor, maintain, and troubleshoot your site's presence in Google Search Results. It allows you to submit your website sitemap, monitor search performance and traffic, identify and fix the issues, and track backlinks and internal linking. And why is Google Search Console important? If you want your domain to be visible on Google, Google Search Console allows you to confirm that your domain is properly indexed. It gives you insights on how Google perceives your website, allowing you to optimize for better rankings. So to start the configuration, of course, you need to type Google Search Console in Google and connect and register the domain via the domain types, as you can see on my slide. The second step will be to verify the domain ownership. The easiest way to do it for your free domain is by adding a text record on your Odoo.com portal. We saw earlier how to access the Odoo.com portal. Just need to copy past the record and Go Google is, is giving you and just copy past it and create a new text record. Then you click on verified and wait for Google to confirm that the verification is good. As you can see on the slide. In Google Search Console, you can access various reports that provide you insight into your website performance. Key reports include performance reports, tracks metric like clicks and the average position of your site in Google Search, coverage reports, shows how well Google is indexing your website web page and highlight any issues, mobile usability reports, and site might report. Note that you will receive some import by email and not all of them are useful and relevant, but uh, you can uh, look for what is uh, needed for your business. After configuring Google Search Console for your site, note that it may take up f to 48 hours for data to appear in this report. Okay, now that I know how to request and use my domain for my website, I will also use it for my email. Is it possible? You need to know that we do not provide a mailbox with Odoo free domain. But, however, <laughs> we have solutions to help you set up your own domain for your communication. Note that 
once again, modifying your records and configuring your email required a bit of technical knowledge. If you don't have some, we advise you to use Odoo subdomain by default. To use your free domain for email, you have two main options. One, the subdomain. You can set up an email using the subdomain of your existing domain, for example, mail.mydomain.com. It's a quick and easy configuration, ideal if you're looking for a simple solution. The second option will be an using an external provider. You can use a third-party service like Google Workspace. Uh, while, this offer, uh, while this offer more advanced features, the setup process is more complex and getting support can be harder as it's external offered. So first, let's have a look how the advantages of using a subdomain. It's ready to use. You can choose the subdomain you want, mail, info, it doesn't matter. You can benefit automatically from Odoo.com SPF record, and it's really easy to configure. You just have to go to your Odoo.com portal, as we did before, create a new CNAME, and voila. Please do not modify the existing CNAME that is there for your website, but create a new one. And then, just have to add the subdomain on the portal by clicking on the Use My Domain button. The last step will be to change your alias domain inside of the database. Be sure to add the subdomain after its creation from the portal, otherwise you will lose emails. Now, all your email will be sent from notification at mail.emattravel.be, for example, for my domain, and all the answers will be addressed to catchall at mail.emattravel.be and the different aliases. To ensure a very good deliverability of your emails, you will need to add the DKNIM and the DMARC as well. Don't hesitate to follow our documentation to have all the information, and those records will be added from the portal, as we mentioned before. Now, how to use an external provider like Google Workspace? You first need to create an account on Google Workspace. You will need to register a subscription as it is a paying service, and then you can start the configuration. Once your Google Workspace account is created, you will need to verify the ownership of the domain. Google will ask you to add an MS record to your DNS configuration, we can, which can be done through the Odoo.com portal. To do this, while in Google Workspace Setup tool, click on the link to view the generic instruction, select Change Verification Method under the Gandhi.net Login button, and then choose the MS record to get your verification code. Next, log in to Odoo.com portal to create the required record by navigating, as we did before, to your DNS record in My Databases. Click Add a DNS record, select the text one, and then just copy past the information provided by Google. To ensure your emails are redirected to Gmail, you also need to configure a domain's MS record. Google Workspace will provide the necessary detail to do it. We can assist you in creating the correct DNS record, but we will need information from Google to proceed. If you follow the steps provided by Google, you should be able to configure it yourself. Okay, so the MX record should look like this in your Odoo.com portal. Be sure to properly copy past the content of the record given. No space or no extra character. And once again, as we mentioned before, on the CNAME, please put a dot at the end, otherwise it won't work. Once your domain is verified and the MX records are updated, complete your Google Workspace setup by creating user account for each team member, and you can start sending emails. Don't hesitate to ask their own support if you have any questions regarding the process. Now, one year has passed and I have my domain, and I see on the DNS portal that it's going to expire soon. You have the date there. What's going to happen? The renewal code will be sent two months before the expiration of your domain. Of course, you will get some reminders if you have missed the first one. If you don't pay on time, you need to contact the support. Depending on the domain, there are different rules, and the deadline for recovering is different. If you want to use another provider, you can request a transfer code. You can just contact the support team for that. If you don't want to use the domain anymore, you can let it expire. Remove it from the website settings and it will be released. And of course, if you have any question, you can send an email to gandhi at auto.com. Okay, so here is a little resume. Today we learn how to register your domain and configure it 
how to use Google Search Console and how to use your domain for your emails. Keep in mind that confirming your email address is really important to get the important information and your renewal quotation. And of course, as mentioned during this talk, if you have any doubts or questions, contact Gandhi at Odoo.com. So, thank you all for listening today. Remember, getting your website visible online has never been easier and quicker with Odoo free domain offer for you. Take advantage of this boost. Take advantage of this to boost your online presence today. Okay, so now if you have any question, I just let you scan the QR code and I will try to answer them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emma, Hi. for this <laughs> enlightening presentation. Um, we have a few questions, so two questions here. Um, first one is, does it work for both HTTP my domain dot odoo, uh, dot com and HTTPS my domain dot com? Because someone had issue with OVH and he couldn't use HTTPS my domain dot com. Okay, so it's a different thing using your domain both on an external provider and the one that is free. As the client mentioned OVH, I will answer maybe for this. Uh, when you use a domain OVH, uh, both on OVH and then you configure it to use it with Odoo, you just have to configure the naked domain and the secure connection part on OVH side and we will provide the, uh, the, the SSL certificate for the subdomain. So if it's not there, you can just contact the support and we will refresh it and it, it will work. Okay, thank you. Will one day email be included with the domain name, even if we have to pay for it? That will be good. I don't have the answer to this question as I don't manage uh, domain names that are free, but uh, maybe one day, yes. <laughs> How can you register multiple domain names for the same website? Okay, so with the free domain offer, you will have only one domain free per client. So you can only register one domain, but if you have multiple websites in your database, you can just buy a domain on another provider and we can, of course, help you to configure it if you have any question or if you don't know how to. We also have documentation for that, but yeah, we will provide only one domain for free per client and then the rest of the domains you will have to Do you need to configure DKM and DMARC? For the email part? Yeah, uh, I told you this during the talk. Uh, if you want to use a subdomain, for example, for your email, you will need to configure the DKM and the DMARC. Uh, it's really easy. You can just add the records specified on the documentation directly on your odoo.com portal. It's actually copy pasting, but once again, if you have any question, you just create a ticket and we will help you do that. Um, some appreciation of, of course, uh, people uh, <laughs> appreciating you. the presentation and the presenter, so <laughs> <laughs> always <laughs> nice to read. Um, that seems quite technical to configure everything. Is there a clear documentation uh, to do it on your website? Yeah, there is. You can go to Odoo documentation and type domain name and you will have a, a, a space with all the information. If you are not technical, as we mentioned, the subdomain for your email, for example, is the easiest one. And of course, we can help you configure it. I will not advise to go for external providers and third party if you don't know how to do it, of course. We've been through all the, the questions. questions for now. Great. Thank you. Hope you liked it. Thank you. <laughs>